It's good to be with you on this Tuesday. And as we think about encouragement in our hearts, we think about a state of being at peace, having optimism, but one thing we sometimes don't think about, and that is being free of a wrong attitude toward other people. Now, we all know that if a person is bitter, they're quenching the spirit, grieving the spirit, as Ephesians 4 says, so obviously they cannot have the great encouragement from God. But sometimes we don't think about the reaction in our hearts to what we're hearing, to the injustices of our day, to the lack of just even good reason and sense in what's happening in our communities and around us. And we can find ourselves being very frustrated and having a bad attitude toward government or toward people who are having an impact in our culture and in our society. Well, the passage I'm going to look at is primarily, of course, for us between people that we know. But I think the attitude of it is a great help when it comes to how we should respond even in this larger picture. We read in, read in Romans chapter 12. Here is the great application of the doctrine of sanctification and salvation. Verse 18, If it be possible, as much as lieth in you, live peaceably with all men. We need to have a peace in our heart and not any kind of an anger or resentment toward anyone. When we think of leaders, when you think of their name, don't let yourself lose that peace of God. Have a heart for them. Pray for them, as 1 Timothy 2 says. And then it goes on and says, Dear, Dearly beloved, avenge not yourselves, but rather give, uh, give place unto wrath, for it is written, Vengeance is mine, I will repay, saith the Lord. God will take care of these things. He's on the throne. It's not good for us to live upset. And I'm around Christians, especially when I travel, and there's this agitation, there's this frustration, there's this hopelessness, and that's not helping us spiritually. That's not really trusting the Lord. Now, we need to be in action, seeing God use us. But friends, we need to live peaceably with those that we know, but have a peace in our heart toward other people. Yes, we need to be discerning. Yes, we've got to correct evil in our mind, but let's don't personalize it. Let's be free of that so we can have the peace of God that passeth all understanding and have strength in our heart to be the men and women of God that we ought to be.